G'day. Welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. We're currently dealing with our subtraction fest and in this video I'm demonstrating yet another method of mental subtraction. So if we had to perform these subtractions mentally, what are some of the nice methods we could use? In this one, we take note that the bottom number can be rounded up to a whole group of 10. So 56 is not far short of 60. 47 would move up to 50 and 38 would move up to 40. Now in the previous method both numbers were moved up the same amount. In this one we simply remember the difference and add it on later. So here for example 56 we would round that up to 60 and perform 72 take away 60 is 12 and then the difference of 4 we would add on afterwards. So this would come in addition. This one we would round up to 50 and we would take 50 away from 93 which would be 43 and because that was 3 short of 50 we would add the 3 on afterwards. This one we would round up to 40 126 minus 40 is 86 and we would add on the 2 afterwards. The reasoning is that if we're subtracting one small number from a larger one and wanting to find this gap, the difference between them, if there's a rounding off number, what we do is we find this gap first, which is the top number, because this for example might have been 40 and 126, and then we find the other gap which is 2 and add it on. So we're actually adding two gaps. It's quite a good method. 43 plus 3 is, oh, sorry, 46, and 12 plus 4 is 16. Another good me method to commend to you, and I hope you practice that and enjoy it as well. And I thank you for watching.